Hey there and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, we will cover all the question tabs the WordPress QuizMaker plugin offers us. The QuizMaker plugin offers 10 plus advanced question tabs you can use to create, for example, exams, personality quizzes, trivia quizzes, general knowledge quizzes, and many more. So at first, let's check all the question tabs on the front end in a ready-made quiz, then we will go to our dashboard and discuss how to create these question types on the dashboard. So we click on a start button and here we can see the first question which is created with the radio question type. The radio question type is designed to have one correct answer. For example, which ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The right answer of this question is Pacific Ocean, so we choose it. We can see a green mark here and uh, that means the question is uh, correct, that means the answer to the question is correct. So this was the question created with radio question type. Then we can click on the next button and go ahead with the next question type which is checkbox. This question type is designed to have more than one correct answer. So uh, we can choose, for example, two correct answers, three correct answers, whatever you prefer. So for this question type exactly, we have two correct answers, which are the following ones. And we can click on a check button to see whether we have made correct choices or not. Yes, we have chosen the correct answer options. So we can go ahead with the next question type. That is the drop down question type. Uh, all you need to do is just to select an answer from the drop down list, for example, like this, and click on the next button to go ahead with the next question type. And the next question type is created with a text uh, type, question type. Here, the user needs to write an answer and click on the check button to see whether the uh, written answer is correct or not. Uh, so we can click on the next button and the next um, question is created with a short text question type. Here the users need to provide short answers, for example, with one or two words. Let's uh, write the answer, for example, like this and click on a check button. Yes, the answer is correct. So we can go ahead with the next question type. And the next question is uh, created with a number question type. Here we need to write the answer in numbers, for example, seven and click on a check button. Then we can go ahead with the next question type, date question type. Here we need to write the answers again in numbers uh, like this. and we can click on a check button then we can go ahead with the next question type uh, this question type is created with the info banner question type this question type generally doesn't require any answer options and the users don't need to write answer options or choose any uh, answer option. This question type is designed to uh, provide additional information. For example, uh, you can set this question type uh, between questions so that users can, for example, check the image and answer the next uh, remaining questions related to that image. Uh, and uh, here you can see the example. The users will need to check the image and answer the next five questions related to this image. Also, you can insert this question type and mention for that, for example, the next uh, 10 questions will refer to the history category. So you can uh, insert this question type between categories to have more advanced quiz. So we can click on the next button. Uh, here is uh, the next question type, true or false a question type. Uh, here we can choose whether the answer whether the answer is true or false, then click on the next button. And the next question type is uh, fill in the blanks question types. Here uh, all you need to do is to write uh, the answer options uh, in written form uh, and uh, click on a check button to see whether the answers are correct or not. 
For example, we can type the answers like this, largest and west and click on a check button. The answer options are correct. So we can go ahead with the next question type, which is the last one offered by the Quizmaker plugin. So we click on the next button. The last question type offered by the Quizmaker plugin is the matching question type, where you need to match the two parts of the question together. So for the Japan, uh, we need to choose the capital, which is Tokyo. And as you can see here, we have uh, some incorrect matches that don't uh, correspond to any of the answers. Uh, this is to mislead the users uh, when uh, filling in the answer options. Uh, then we can choose the next answer option and the last one and uh, click on the finish button. Here we need to fill in some information about uh, the user passing the quiz. And we can click on the see result button to see the finished page of our quiz. That's all. Let's check how to create these question types on the dashboard and uh, let's check how do they actually work. So to use all these question types available in a plugin, you need to have the premium version of the Quizmaker plugin. Uh, and uh, I have already installed and activated the premium version of the plugin so as not to waste your time. Uh, also, I have created all the questions and inserted them into the quiz uh, again so as not to waste your time. To add a new quiz, you need to click on uh, this button on the add new button. Uh, we will check our example. Uh, we click and open it. As you can see, I have already inserted all the questions to our quiz. Uh, however, uh, if you want to create a new question, you need to go to the questions page and click on the add new button. Then add uh, your question with the answer options. Let's go back to our quiz page uh, and to add questions already created questions to the quiz all you need to do is to click on the insert questions button uh, by clicking on it a pop-up will appear and you will be able to choose the questions you prefer so let's check uh, all the question types available in a plugin to see uh, how they are created so we will start with the radio question type so here is our first question created with the radio question type. Uh, so as you can see, I have already uh, added an image for the question. Uh, uh, to add an image, uh, you need to click on the add media button and here uh, in our case it is changed to edit image as I have already uploaded the image. Uh, you either need to choose the image from your uh, WP media or you need to upload from your computer. Uh, also, you can add an image by clicking here. Uh, there is no difference. Uh, the first question is created with a radio question type. So we have chosen radio from the list. Then we have specified the answer options. We have chosen uh, the question uh, that the, the answer option that is correct. Uh, this is the third one and uh, assigned weight point to it. Also, we have assigned keywords to these answer options. Uh, you can find the detailed information about how to use the keyword system, how to add weight points, etc. Uh, in the uh, documentation, I will leave in the description of this video tutorial. Uh, and here we can see some features. Uh, this is uh, use HTML for answer options. Uh, you can uh, tick this option and the system will understand the uh, HTML tags you insert in the answer options. Uh, this is designed for uh, particularly math quizzes. Uh, for example, if you are using Magix plugin uh, to insert ma math equations uh, to the answer options. And here we can see the question weight option. Uh, the value provided here will be multiplied uh, with the weight point of the answer option. Also here you can specify the question category, in our case it is uncategorized, here you can specify 
different question tags and here you can write question title uh, by going to the settings tab here we can see some advanced um, features and functionalities the question type offers here you can specify whether the question status is published or unpublished you can hide a question text on the front end uh, disable strip slashes for answers this option again is designed uh, especially when you are creating math quizzes um, this is the reverse option uh, here you can take the not influence to score option by which uh, the uh, weight point system of this question will not be applied when calculating uh, the, all the questions at the end of the quiz that means this question will not participate in the calculation process here you can add question background image uh, you can enable user uh, answer explanation so that the users can provide answers uh, so that the users can provide uh, answer explanations uh, for example why they have chosen the corresponding answer option etc you can provide a hint to help your quiz takers you can provide explanation for the question additional information here you can see message for the wrong and right answer options here uh, in this input you can provide um, some text when the users will see uh, when they choose uh, for example wrong or right answer for example if the user chooses the wrong answer uh, he or she may encounter a text for example like oops the answer is incorrect and the reverse the answer is correct etc and here you can see the note text feature uh, with the help of which you can write a small note about the question uh, so these were the uh, settings related to the radio question type and we can go ahead with the tag box question type here again i have uh, added an image written the question and uh, answer options and for this question type as it requires more than one answer option i have chosen two correct answer options and applied weight points to each of them and the next question type is uh, the drop down question type and uh, i have done all the same steps for this question type as well here you can see the answer options and the remaining settings so we can go ahead with the next question type, which is uh, the text question type. Here I have added an image, the question, I have chosen the text question type and written the correct answer. Then here we can see some features that are uh, responsible, that are uh, specific to this question type only. Here you can see the maximum length of the text field feature. Uh, by taking which you can set a limit on the character and words uh, the users can write during the quiz. Uh, here you can enable the case sensitive text feature. In this case, the user will need to provide the answer in a corresponding formatting. And the remaining settings are the same. So we can go ahead with the next question type, which is uh, the short text. Here I have added an image, the question, uh, chosen the short text type and added the correct answer. Here you can see uh, the delimiters. You can uh, write delimiters to mention, for example, how the answer can be written to be uh, considered as correct, for example. Uh, in this case, both US, USA and United States uh, options will be considered as correct and the settings are the same as uh, the previous one so we can go ahead with the next question type uh, which is the number question type i have chosen the number here also i have uh, mentioned the correct answer option uh, and here uh, there are some settings which need to be discussed here you can set the maximum and minimum value of a number field. For example, if you set uh, 20 here, the user uh, can't write a number higher than 20 and etc. Also here you can uh, specify an, an error message. Uh, so uh, when the user writes any other character instead of number, for example, uh, the user writes letter, you can display your desired error message and the uh, uh, settings are 
the same as previous question type so we can go ahead and the next question type is the date question type. Here you need to provide the answer um, as month, day and year format. And uh, the settings are the same for this question type as well. So we can go ahead. And the next question type is the info banner question type for which you actually don't need to provide any answer options as uh, this is just an additional question type uh, inserted between the categories for example so all you need to do is to choose the question type here and of course write the question and if you want you can uh, add an image to it and the next question type is created with a true or false uh, question type here you can see the question and the answer options as true and false and I have chosen the false answer option as correct one. The next question type is uh, the fill in the blank question type. Here you can see I have already added an image then uh, inserted the blanks uh, into the text. So uh, you can add as many answer options as you want by clicking uh, on the plus button. Uh, also I have chosen the fill in the blanks question type from the list. Uh, and uh, all you need to do is to uh, copy the blanks, uh, these slugs, and insert it into the text, into the spaces uh, where the user needs needs to provide the answer option for example uh, for the first uh, space the user needs to write the largest and for the second space the user needs to write best also here you can provide a placeholder text if you want and the remaining settings and remaining features are the same as for the uh, remaining question type so we can go ahead with the next and the last question type which is the matching question type here you can see i have already added an image and have a written description also I have chosen the matching question type from the list and here we need to write the choices and the matches so uh, you can add as many choices as you want uh, for example for japan the correct match is tokyo for canada it is otava and for italy it is rome uh, the matches will be shuffled and randomized on the front end so that the users don't uh, guess the answer options also what is important here is that you can add incorrect matches as you can already guess from its name, uh, these incorrect matches will help you distract your users. Uh, you will need to provide some uh, incorrect answer options so that the users will uh, think of the correct answer uh, more longer uh, when passing the quiz. And here you can see the remaining features and functionalities which are the same as for the questions we have already discussed. So we can save our quiz with the questions and check it on the front end. To see the quiz on the front end, we just need to copy the shortcut of the quiz, then head to the post page, add new post and paste our shortcut there. So here is our quiz on the front end. Let's pass it to see the question types in action. As you can see, the Quizmaker plugin offers a great variety of question types you can use to create advanced and engaging quizzes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more informative videos. Bye!